The Prince Harry US visa court hearing has ended. And oh my goodness, I'm going to give you the most insane moment from that hearing between the Heritage Foundation and the US government. Guys, you're not going to believe this one. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye and oh my goodness yeah let's jump into this shall we with a little bit of a caveat if you missed my video from earlier on i absolutely recommend you watch it uh my breaking news prince harry us visa caught here in outcome Will he be deported? I give you a full rundown of what happened during the hearing, the aftermath, the outcome. Will he be deported? I answer all of that and more in my Daily Nerd that I released earlier on today. So if you've not watched that, watch it because then you'll be up to speed for this particular video, which is I'm going to give you, a pity conspiracy theory or whatever, the most insane moment that happened during today's court hearing between the Heritage Foundation and the US government. So what happened? Well, of course, we know first and foremost that the US government, particularly the Department for Homeland Security, the DHS, are trying to argue that, you know, what the Heritage Foundation wants constitutes an unwarranted invasion of Prince Harry's privacy, uh, saying that the records are particularly sensitive because releasing them even in part would reveal Prince Harry's status in the United States, which Prince Harry has not disclosed. However, that ain't their craziest argument. Oh, no, 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 no. Their craziest argument, the craziest moment that happened in today's hearing was when they freaking said this. What? They're turning around and they're saying that his memoir is not proof that he took illicit substances. How? Why are they making this argument? What is their logic in making this argument, you would say? Well, John Bardo, the uh, lawyer for the Biden, and Biden administration, said that the memoir has not proved that he took illicit substances and that it could have been embellished to sell books, uh, saying that the book isn't sworn testimony or proof, and further saying uh, that something in a book doesn't necessarily make it true. What? What? Now, let's be very clear on this, okay? The Biden administration is A, trying to say, well, you know, it's an unwanted invasion of uh, Prince Hazard's privacy, so we're not going to release the records to the Heritage Foundation. Their second argument is, um, yeah, uh, Prince Hazard's memoir is not proof that he actually took illicit substances. You freaking what? What? They're like, oh, he could embellish it just to sell books and it's not written or sworn testimony. Now, let's be very clear on this, okay? Ever since, right, Hazard's book has been released, not once has Hazard turned around and said that something in his book, right, was wrong or incorrect, okay? And he's never, like, changed the record or corrected the record on it, right? Number two... Soon after Spare was released, what does he do? He goes on that online therapy session with Dr. Gabor Mate and discuss further his illicit substance use. <laughs> so how can the US government turn around and say his memoir's not proved that he actually did it? Um, is the US government clutching at straws here? This is insane guys right and guess what right the heritage foundation oh they noticed this um they said in the press conference that they did soon after the hearing ended outside of the car uh they said we've been disappointed uh, with the u.s administration's commitment to transparency under rules of evidence what has a put in spare is admissible so they don't know why the government's taking a different position when they've used a similar argument in the past against other people that they're fighting against well you wrote this in the book so we're going to admit it as evidence kind of thing 
Uh, they further said you can't sensationalise a hard fact. It doesn't change the fact that he took the illicit substance. It's not sensationalising. It's not written by anyone else but Hazza. Uh, he's not denied anything he's written in the book. It's a ridiculous argument. It's his own book in his own words, and he's not disavowed what he's written, including his extensive drug, uh, uh, illicit substance use. And this is the thing, exactly what I said earlier on. Since the book's been released, he's not disavowed. He's not corrected the record, right? Saying, oh, actually, I was slightly wrong on that. Let me just, you know, change the record, correct the record, whatever right No. He has stood by, as far as I'm concerned, every single fucking word in that book, including when he's mentioning his past illicit substance use, right? And then again, the double whammy is, okay, ignore spare, right? Just just give the US government the benefit of the doubt here, right? Ignore spare, yeah? Then how do they explain uh, Prince Hazard's online therapy session with Dr. Gabor Mate? when Prince Hazza went into further detail about his past illicit substance use, admitting what he took, how it made him feel, and all that freaking malarkey. Literally coming out of his gob. There, on camera, it's there, it's done. How can, how can the US government turn around and say, oh, in, in that case, oh, well, you know, him saying on camera that he took illicit substances in the past isn't actually proof that he did it because he could just be doing it to sensationalize and sell books. The argument does not make sense. It really doesn't make sense, right? This is freaking insane. Um, they, either, they even turned around the Heritage Foundation and says there's a red flag that the uh, real evidence that the government has acted improperly uh, when it comes to Prince Hazard's visa situation. And do you know what? Opinion conspiracy theory, whatever. The more that I've delved into this, the more that, you know, I've done my research on this and reported to you guys every step of the way what's been going on uh, with this whole fight between the Heritage Foundation and the US government, the more I'm thinking, Oh, yeah, the U.S. government totally freaking stinks with this whole situation with Hazard's U.S. visa situation, right? Because there can, e there can only be two outcomes to this. Either A, Hazard did disclose everything. So then the question is, well, why did the U.S. government uh, treat him differently to the rest, right? Or B, Prince Hazard didn't disclose everything. So then the question to the U.S. government is, okay, what are you going to do next? Kick him out, deport him. <laughs> the US government is in a lose-lose situation. And I really do believe opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, they are clutching at straws, such as this freaking weak ass, insane argument. How can they turn around and say his memoir is not proved that he took illicit substances when it's literally spare by Prince Harry? written by Prince Harry, promoted by Prince Harry, not a word being disavowed publicly by Prince Harry. If anything, he doubled down when he then went again on that online therapy session with Dr. Gabor Mate. Come the frick on. So do you now understand why, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever, out of the whole court hearing today, this was the most insane freaking moment ever. Has this, you know, John Bardo lawyer just had like a complete brain transplant or something? Like, whoever came up with this argument <laughs> needs to have their head examined. With that being said, if you appreciate this video and you want more, believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there and hopefully cause a Christopher Boozy meltdown on Twitter. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Prince Harry, his US visa, immigration status, all that malarkey, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.